What's going on guys, Lomax here, and welcome back to another episode of our roll and playthrough. In the last episode, we went through the Ned and Claptrap DLCs, and now we're ready to head back into the main story. So we're almost 48, we should pretty much be good, I would think, to like the end of this playthrough. Uh, did I go the wrong way? I feel like I went the wrong way. No, we can go this way. I think it all just goes to the same place, I don't think there really is a wrong way here. Maybe just a less correct way. Give me crumb. Bang. Oh, I miss Borderlands 1 revolvers. Be gentle, Crumb. I see rockets, I'm gonna start crying. Don't get shot by a rocket, don't get shot by a rocket. Damn right I'm a hero. Alright, I gotta be careful, because if he starts shooting rockets, I'm dead. Okay. Right on cue. Uh, bam. That was actually an okay placement, I guess. Now we're good. <laughs> he's still talking even after he's dead. So back to Tannis we go. 48. Grit, and then I think we want to go... Stat. Can you just jump this, I wonder? Probably not. I don't think you get enough movement speed, too. Oh, no. Just not enough movement speed. Even as it's lowering, like, I don't know if I can... Yeah. <laughs> Not quite. Man, I can't imagine what people thought about the storyline in 2009 when this game came out. This part of the story is just so weird. You talk to this guy who's like, hey, I need you to kill my brother. And then you do that, and then, like, literally a mission later, you have to kill said guy. It doesn't make any sense. At this point, we're just running the story all the way to the end. You know, we're done with two DLCs already. There's nothing more we can do aside from side quests in those. No more Claptrap SDUs to do. Thank goodness. Right, back to New Haven. This guy might have had, like, the shortest rule of any place in history. Taylor Cobb. What was it, like, two minutes? Or, I don't know, it's probably gonna be, like, five minutes. An idiot vault hunter follows the direction of an insane archaeologist. I don't know why she's so mean. Uh... Probably not a right arrestor. Two shot. Wonderful. Nope. So we'll get to. I don't think we'll get to 49 off of Rack Hive, but we'll get a. We should get a good chunk of XP off of Rack Hive. Rest. Rest? I don't think I've slept since I've hit Pandora. Imagine if that was a thing in this game. You had to sleep every X amount of hours or something. It's a fun idea for, you know, more immersion or realism, I guess, but in practice, I just think it's annoying, you know, having to sleep every X amount of time. Look at the numbers. All right. Oh, it takes too long to switch. I'm amazed that his eyes are still up. All right, that one's gone. And that one's gone. Borderlands 1 boss fight. It's just giant sacks of health that don't really do much. Oh, wow. We did hit 49. All right. So now we're going to go into stat. All right. Another key down. Or another key piece down. Oh, this is cool. You got like a little ring around you. So wait, hang on. I didn't read the skill. I just saw health regen. I think it's health regen for you and your allies. Yeah. It's so weird to me that you're here for literally this one mission. This giant area. And you're only here for like two seconds. I don't know, there are a couple places like that. Like Treacherous Landing is the same way. You're in Treacherous Landing for like two seconds and then... No, that's it. Ugh, really? Alright. I'm assuming if I fast traveled here, I can probably fast travel to the Salt Flats. Oh yeah. You can literally do everything from Crom all the way to, like, the end of the game in an hour because of these fast travels being already available. Hell, oh, Thumper Hellfire, never mind. I'm just gonna ignore that. Pretend it never happened. Man, this place is just so empty. Like, like that's this whole game in a nutshell. Compared to Borderlands 2. And I think there's good and bad things about that. Like, it, it looks cool, but it also just it feels empty. I mean, obviously... It is empty, but 
not feels empty from like a physical standpoint, but it just, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Like bland, I guess. Like this stuff has a lot going on. There's a lot of assets and whatnot. But outside of here, there's just nothing. Which is, you know, how you would think it would be in real life. If this were a real place, I would think there would be like nothing out there. It'd just be a complete deserted wasteland. Uh-oh. Oh, reload faster, Roland. Ooh. Is Hans tankier? I can't remember. All right, I got... Yeah, I'm... Okay. Now they're both pretty tanky. I think I'm dead here. Very dead here. I think you respawn so close to them that they don't actually lose their health when you die. Which is kind of nice. But at the same time, I think it'd be fun to fight them from full health. Yo, what? Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. For such a little dude, Aaron Flint pumps out so much damage. Right, I'm healing, I'm healing, and there he is. I got my turret right now. It's doing absolutely nothing. That's great. Oh, I'm so dead. Ah! I felt that one. I felt that one with you, Roland. We live! Why does he die in the most compromising positions? Level up! Level 50. Well, we gotta go find Tannis. Lucky for us, there's waypoints. So, we know where to find her. Because if we had to search all over Pandora to find her, if we didn't have waypoints, that is, uh, we'd be here a while. There's a lot of places she could be. Come to think of it, I don't really know how you'd do anything if you didn't have any waypoints. Imagine playing a game with no waypoints. Alright, one more point in stat. More healing on kill. It's a bummer that Roland is kill skill dependent to get his damage. Like, if I had shotguns, I think that would help, right? Because I think the only damage buff he actually gets... Well, he gets impact, but the only other damage buff I think he gets is from is for shotguns. So if I had that skill, that would help. But other than that, I have to get a kill to get Metal Storm, and the spot coming up, it's hard to do. At least in theory, it might not actually be that bad. We'll see. Maybe a bit early. Wow, that takes... They take a while to come out. That's right, shoot the turret. All right, we're, we're okay here. We're okay to go down. Okay, we're not okay to go down. I just lost, like, a lot of Metal Storm there. Well, we're okay. Luckily, it's pretty easy to dodge, but it's... If you're not careful, it can chunk you. That would probably do... Let's take, let's take a hit. Yeah. Health gate. No big deal. 15.8 fire rate. Can't wait to see this with Metal Storm. Yeah, it breaks the sound. Hello. I don't really have a plan for these guys. Other than die, I guess. Yeah, dude, I can't do anything to him. If he doesn't take a dot, I can't do anything. The shotgun sucks. You know what? I do have a meat grinder, which is also corrosive. I just need something corrosive right now. This actually might work. It's level 34, but I just need a dot. All right, I know you can't fire that thing forever, buddy. This place, anytime I come here, I'm just like always so confused by it. I never really bothered to learn the layout. We're not here for very long, so I didn't really uh, think it was that important. I gotta reload. I never have to reload. Why is that a thing? Dennis. You traitor. I got three turret, four turrets. Oh my god. That is a, oh, that's death. That's almost death. This is a fun area. Here, can you take a dot? Thanks. Thanks, bro. Four badass engineers, that is pretty cruel, I gotta say. And then we get guardians, which give an insane amount of XP. And that's basically how you level up, though. Just kill guardians over and over again. 13,000. So, so 13,000 plus, like, what? Another 20,000 from the three other guardians? And then you kill these guys who give, like, a measly 858. 
Close to 51. I don't remember what all this stuff will scale to. Like, I don't know if it goes past 50 or not. I don't know why they spread these uh, consoles out so much. Like, at least these two are on the way to each other, but that first one's so far out of the way. I just bought, like, 10 med kits not too long ago, and I'm already down to two. And I'm gonna be down to one here. Never mind. Level up. Kill everything. All right, one more point into stat. We got more guardians here, too. I don't remember if these ones give a lot of XP, though. Yeah, that's not bad. 3,500 is still, like, four times what any Lanceman would give me. Oh, come on. Where are you going? Where is this thing going? I think he's running away. He's peacing out. He's like, I don't want this. I don't want to die. The only smart guardian here. I should have bought ammo, but I'm an idiot. And I forgot. I could go buy some. Oh, new shield. Nice. And a health boost. 40% more health. Wow. Uh, I think I'm dead. I can't hit anything. You betrayed me. I, there's, there's no question about that. The only way to take these guys out is just to literally walk up to their face. And pray you don't go down. All right, we, now we just gotta go find Steel and finish the game. That's it. We're going full Rambo now. Oh, hang on. Stats down. Stats down. That's not good. Rambo mode disengaged. I might be dead. I'm stuck behind the stupid box. Oh, if only I had scatter shot. Now oh, we're okay. We got a dot on him. Yeah, dots are just stupid in this game. Like, I don't think this gun does much damage outside of the dot, but once the dot hits, it's it just melts everything. All right, we got guardians here, and I uh... is this gonna like shoot all the trash feeders? Oh yeah, it is. Look at that. It's like a swarm of these things. Eighteen thousand XP. I fire so fast, the sound just breaks. Oh, I'm out of ammo. That was horrible timing. Guardian Central. There's so many Guardians here. It's awesome. Oh, we'll hit 52 before the end of this. The only downside to all this killing is we're going to run out of ammo before the Destroyer fight. But we can fast travel out pretty much immediately. So that's not a big deal. Double up. Okay, one more point in stat. So I think they were giving 10,000 experience a level ago, and now they're giving 6,000. Yeah, the experience has definitely dropped off here, which is to be expected. I don't think they want you to get past 50, so they just kind of cull that. Oh, come on. Why is there a pillar there? Who put that there? Messing with my metal storm. Yeah, I'm already running out of ammo pretty badly, too. Like, this is not good. We're going to have to teleport out of the final fight to go get ammo. I hate doing that, but, you know, they put a fast travel right there, so... I thought there were more Lancemen here. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah, there are. You know what we even could do? I'm just thinking, like, if we're fast traveling out of this vault, we could fast travel out, save and quit, get 53, and then come back. All right, hang on. 55? What? Yeah, we're totally getting 53 then. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and get fifty three, and then we'll see if it's still at fifty five. I mean, the mission I'd imagine is level fifty. Oh, you know why? I remember why. Because everything scales to your level after you enter the vault. So I don't think it's gonna matter if we get fifty five or not. We might as well just do this fight then. All right, we gotta kill. Where the hell this stuff is? The addictive parasite. Dude, reload, Roland. Come on! I just wasted like my whole metal storm bonus. All right, there we go. Oh, these things hurt, though. This one's stuck in me. Yeah, I used to never really be able to get kill skills in this fight because those things didn't spawn. Those rack-type things. Being able to get the kill skills is just so nice crucial. Resupply. And we got a bunch of legendaries that are stupidly overpowered. Yay! Well, how many more points can we put in stat? Final one? Final one, okay. So I think next we're probably going to go fitness. That's got to be one of the... Oh, it's a violator. I'll take that. I need some good corrosive weapons. So right now, we pretty much just are going to grind to max level. You know what? Eh, yeah, we're, we're, let's do that. So let's turn this in. Then we'll just grind to... I want to say 60. I can't remember what how the Nox DLC scales. 
I want to say it starts at 55, but I don't remember. So things are going to be a little harder to kill now because everything is at our level. As opposed to before where everything was like f five levels lower. Wow, you are tanky though. This thing should give like 20,000 XP. I hope. 16,000? That's not bad. I am going to need better guns soon. Well, you know what? Let's see if we can get some new guns. Maybe make this a little bit easier. Hunter shotgun. Yeah, I'll take that. Actually, I really like this. Well, hello. That's a huge capacity. That's an even bigger capacity. Wow. We'll do one more run of this. And then we'll go back to the promontory and try to get to 55. Ooh. Ooh. -hoo. Nice. I think we're good uh, with what we have now. All right, there's 54. And I think... I don't know. Where do we want to go to? I think I'm going to finally go Scattershot. No, get on the other side of the turret. Hey. No. Hey, stop it. Like, he's got every dot in the world on him, but I can't get through the shield. I got to see what I have for shock weapons. New corrosive artifacts. Wow, this does no damage. This is level 51. Roland's DPS, though, is scary. But the problem is it's just kill skill base. Which isn't usually a problem. But I think the only... Like, for Nox, it is. Because, at least at first, Nox doesn't have any mobs in his arena. Until you take out half of his health bar. Damn, it's 55. All right, keep going down scatter shots. That's going to do it for this one, guys. In the next one, we're going to start the Nox DLC. Thanks for watching, everyone.